I hope that none of these hairstyles overlap from previous hairstyle videos, but there might be one or two that you've seen before. I can't remember what my other hairstyles were, but I've tried to be creative, innovative, and show you some new, interesting ideas. So I hope you find this video fun, helpful, give it a thumbs up if you do, and subscribe if you haven't already to my channel. I would love for you to be part of my family, and without further ado, I'll just get started into my 10 to 13 hairstyles. Let's go. Welcome to Caitlin editing, doing her voiceover. Please excuse my voice if you can tell I've got a cold. I do. But first of all, you're going to be splitting your hair off to the side, putting the bulk of your hair in a little ponytail. Then I'm going to take that little section which we left out and pleat that. I've tried my best to do like a French braid style thing. I'm not the most talented, but definitely give it a shot, braid it all the way down to the bottom. And then you're going to grab a bobby pin, curvy grip, whatever you call them, wrap it around the back of your head and pin it there. So you've kind of got this cool, swish to the side, slight braid, super cool, it would be good for a festival or just a way to get your hair off your face during school or work. Then hairstyle number two is just a variation of hairstyle number one. I'm going to be taking my hair, putting it back into a bobble, into a side ponytail and then continuing the braid and then twisting it around the ponytail to cover up the hair bobble and this is hairstyle number two very similar to number one just with a side ponytail basically so for hairstyle number three I'm going to be putting my hair all the way back and then taking the top section of my hair giving it a twist and then taking one of these big grasp kind of clips and using it to hold my top part of my hair in place. I usually always pull out the front sections of my hair because I feel like it frames my face a little bit more and that is hairstyle number three completed. So for hairstyle number four I'm going to be sectioning off the front part of my hair on the larger side of my parting. Then doing the same thing again, twisting that hair from the top section at the back, pinning it. So then the front section, which we originally separated out, we're going to be braiding that. Again, I'm attempting to do a French braid here and pulling out sections to make it look really big and give some more volume. And then I'm pinning it at the back of my head with the rest of my hair so that we've got this half up, half down with a lot more going on, a lot more interesting and pretty summery as well. Next hairstyle, flicking my hair all the way to the back, I'm going to be putting it in a low ponytail. I'm then going to be splitting my hair in half and twisting it in on itself, if you can see what I'm doing here. And I'm going to keep twisting it in on itself until it wraps round into some sort of like bun shape and then pinning using curvy grips to make the bun more secure and neater. Then obviously I've pulled out the front sections of my hair like I usually do. And this is hair style number five, a really nice low bun. Hairstyle number six, I'm going to be twisting the front section of my hair, then going a little bit further back and doing the same thing, and then going even further back on my hair and doing the twists again. If I haven't already shown you, I did split my hair into a middle parting to create two side ponytails, so we've got bunches on each side, and then I'm just repeating it on the other side, twists in the front, middle and back and then pulling that into bunches, which is really cute, really nice to get your hair off your face, but have a little bit of something else going on, a little bit more interesting. This is hairstyle number six. Hairstyle number seven is a continuation of number five. I'm gonna be doing that twisting in on itself style, which we did previously. Again, creating two little buns, using curvy grips to make it a little bit more neater and secure. Number eight, I'm going to be pulling my hair into a top knot bun, bringing out the front two sections. Again, I just love doing this. I'm sorry if you don't, but for me, this makes a hairstyle go from like a five out of 10 to making it look like you've made a little bit more effort. Next hairstyle, we are going to be taking our hair into three sections. Middle section, you're going to tie in a low ponytail, and then the side two sections, you're going to do as shown, kind of pulling your hair back and sweeping it round and underneath that middle ponytail to create like a crisscross, a really nice, a little bit more sleeker, more classy ponytail, which I think is really appropriate for work. 
or school if you want to wear it to school of course. Next hairstyle, this is for super lazy people. You can use a cap if your hair is obviously on second or third day. Put it on, low ponytail, started. This is such a go-to during the summer and I love it. Obviously variation, pop it to the side. Again, I did say at the start of this video, a lot of these were similar. And that is all my hairstyles. So those were all my hairstyles. I hope you found them helpful and interesting. I hope that you try some of them out and if you do, then feel free to give me a little message on like Instagram or send me a photo or tag me in a photo. I love seeing recreations. It's the best thing ever. So if you do do that, then let me know or just let me know in the comments. Also, don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up and I will see you soon in my next video. Bye guys!